Welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Today, I've got a... To me, I think it's a serious topic. And it's on... It's it's weighing on me. It's kind of like... Remember all those times I'll start having these conversations and it's... Uh, we're talking about digital imprint and uh, something along the lines of uh, social currency and, and all this types of crazy stuff, right? And everyone wants to put on the tinfoil hats and, you know, when they're around me, they're like, oh, man, uh, time for the tinfoil hat. But most of these folks don't realize how real all this is and how soon all of it's going to impact every one of us, even you watching this video. It's going to impact our daily lives in such an extreme way and I don't think there's anything we can do about it because there's too many people worshiping it and that's the scary thing now so I'm with my kids you know I've got three kids and they're younger they want to watch uh, a movie called Ron Gone Wrong and it started off as this uh, little robot dude uh, at like a McDonald's or something. I don't know. But it got brought to our attention somehow. And I got told uh, to, you know, check out this movie or whatever. The kids wanted to watch it. So I got it. And you don't realize how much, how many little, okay. When you watch movies these, day, these days, they, they throw in a lot of little hints and gestures along the way. Now, this is supposed to be, it, it's kind of like, remember back in the day when, okay, now I was deployed when iPods came out. That, so I got hit with a wave of everyone was enjoying these things like three years later. You know, I got, I got hit by all these things later on. I come back, it's like, what is this? What is this thing? And, and so technology for me, it was, you know, it was like a slap to the face when I got home. And I had no idea all this stuff existed. Now it's kind of they're kind of treating it the same way, like a like a crazy Apple store, and you go inside, and there's a robot, and everybody gets one, and that kid has to have one and gets it, and it links to every account in social media known to man. They know uh, everything about the individual that purchases the robot, and the robot's supposed to be his little customizable companion that follows him around everywhere. We see where this is going. <laughs> Supposed to be a device, like a phone, but it's a robot. Okay. We watched this movie, and then my wife, well, she doesn't really keep up with the tinfoil hat stuff that I talk about, and I said, well, uh, you know, probably in five years, there's going to be quantum computers that in uh, the, the uh, be the end of crypt uh, uh crypting you can't like your password okay uh so if you had like a password set up and you know your password is probably not password and it's something unique and now a computer it would take several years to hack that information now quantum computers can do it in seconds and now we're not at that stage yet so but if when we do in like five years, there that's going to be the financial collapse that everyone talks about. It's going to be the end of banking, cryptocurrency, all that stuff. It's just going to everything's going to crumble. All that stuff. The only thing that's going to be left is barter and trading. It's going to be some guy like me with some goats. You know, <laughs> it's going to be something like that. It's like you want some eggs, and I'll trade you. Uh, you're gonna literally be sent into the dark ages all because of uh, all because of uh, quantum computers. Now, uh, a lot of folks don't keep track of weird stuff like that. That's the reason why a lot of you know a lot of things that are refer referred to in robotics, like uh, with the metaverse stuff. The metaverse stuff is kind of like uh, it's like quantum leap. It's I, I guess it's about the uh, best way of saying it, but it's like um, what they're trying to do now there's this metaverse thing that everybody's getting all hyped up about now 
the metaverse is basically um, a uh, a platform of it's not in conscious reality it's not in your reality it's in a, another reality and basically you would you could be in a room and but be in another environment somewhere and now what they're what they're interlocking together is how basically you won't even drive anymore you won't even travel anymore you won't even walk on your own two legs anymore that's the way they want this they want it so tuned in and uh, this goes back to this movie that i had watched with the kids and i'm like you know we're not too far away from that that because there's a there's another phrase in the little metaverse community of this stuff this app crazy stuff and all your personal information and avatars and all this stuff is the keyword robot they want as your avatar to be this robot and basically that's the best way of saying it and it's an avatar and it, it thinks and does everything that you do has your personality and blah blah blah, blah and is supposed to act and be you now i'll get into more detail about why that is now Watching this movie and seeing how it links to everything, well, the there is something called meta mobility, and this is where uh, the virtual field hits reality, and you take the virtual world and your reality, where you're Bob the Builder. You know what I mean? You're you're the you're the guy. Okay, so basically, what they're trying to do here is uh, with the enhancement of robotics, the robot dogs, the robot everything, you know, um, robot legs and stuff. You know, they try to advertise it and sell it as the guy leaving the wheelchair with robotic legs and stuff like that. That's how they try to sell it like the guy who just wants to be with his dog forever for the rest of his life. So there's a virtual dog so that he gets to stay with for the rest of his life and he can hug and stuff. Uh, it, that's what they try to sell it with. They try to sell it with that. He is your personal companion. He will be with you for the rest of your life. That's the, how they try to sell it, but it's still, it's not reality. It's not reality. It's a robot. That, that robot is still not a living, breathing creature, and it doesn't have a soul. <laughs> and it's funny what some of these platforms are called, sin and stuff like that. It doesn't sound good, right? <laughs> the type of platforms they call these things. Now, um, so basically, meta mobility. Basically, your car isn't going to be a car anymore. It's going to transform into something else. It's going to be, it's going to be a car, but it's going to be mobile. It's going to move, but it's not going to be carrying you anymore. Or it's just going to be carrying your robot pet dog or whatever that goes and runs your errands. Or uh, the robotic, you know, humanoid, whatever type thing that's in there that comes out and does your shopping for you. And basically, uh, a lot of these places, they were even saying in some detail, like I did a little bit of research on it, like I'm no expert in this field, but uh, a little bit of research into this was uh, uh, these you know, super mega brains that sit around all night drinking coffee, coming up with ways to do this stuff. The one way that they want to do this is like, basically, at all these different locations, they wanted a guy on the ground. And they wanted to make this so technical, okay? So it's like... Uh, uh, say Las Vegas, for example. Let's just per, just make up a world real quick. Uh, Las Vegas, they'd have a bunch of robots staged there, kind of like little shopping carts. And uh, basically, you know, you're sitting in the comfort of your home in your closet in the basement of your mom's house somewhere. And you're like, you know what? I think I'm going to go to Vegas today. Let's do it. And then they just put their little goggles and crap on and whatever else. So it's kind of like Ready Player One, those movies that do that sort of thing. Uh, like the video game world where you collect tokens and whatever else to play with Gandahar or whatever. I, I don't know. But anyways, so they've got that little world, little virtual world. But the way they do it now is kind of like the reverse of that. It's like uh, you're still in the real world, but you're in a virtual world doing it. And advanced cameras. Now, and when people start thinking this stuff, they start thinking, well, it's supposed to be like this virtual world, like a uh, virtual world, so it's supposed to be like a cartoon, uh, like a, a computer game or something like that. But no, it's the opposite of that. So basically, 
your reality is going to be a trucking robot. So basically, you're going to say, well, I want to go to Vegas today, click, click, and there you are, you're in Vegas, you stand up, but you're this robot. And, but this robot, uh, you know, could be coated with your, you know, clothes or whatever it is, you know, as far as like a digital outfit, right? Like it would change like the shirt tone, of the tone of it like to red or something, or, you know, blue jeans or, you know, whatever. So you'd be walking around wearing this, you're this robot and you're walking around and checking out all the sites and stuff, but you're seeing it in a, a type of, it's not a 3D world or anything, you know, it, you'd be seeing it just like a, any set of camera eyes, like, you, like you're looking at me right now through this device. You'd be looking through me in the same way as, as they would. And that's how they would be seeing it. Now, they're taking it so far as to the practical uses for this type of thing. Do you just use these types of things just to go visit sites and see the beach or, you know, log in and see the freaking shopping mall or whatever? They want to use it as like a working device, boots on the ground. So sum it up, when this meta mobility, <laughs> how they're calling it uh, uh, and of course this is in the same world of like uh, quantum computers and all that stuff which is going to lead to the end of the world and all that that's pretty much how it all ends because you're not going to be able to I mean you can't compete with a quantum computer and they're the size of a blood cell like a red blood cell they're like the same size as that and they literally shrink it down to that much and it's that powerful it like trumps a computer by uh, it's it's insane and you have to look at the uh, I would recommend uh, you know after this looking up the videos on just quantum computers like the basically explained so that you can get an idea of kind of like how how much it actually trumps the it's insane it's, it's crazy but so <laughs> this boots on the ground type things like if you wanted a technician to come and fix something that's very sophisticated that needs to get fixed right away or you need a, a, a super scientist to come and do some work for you uh, you wouldn't need him he could be at his home at the beach somewhere and in a little room and he could step into his little metaverse whatever and he could uh, meta mobility his butt there through a robot and do all the work as a robot on the scene. And this would lead to jobs and how you, you know, a lot of folks will lose their jobs unless they're not, you know, uh, qualified and experts in their field of, of certain types of technical jobs where it's like uh, climbing a power line or something, you know, connecting some lines. Could just imagine, I mean, those jobs that are, are dangerous to the human being or firefighting or whatever, uh, or law enforcement where the person can basically be the voice and uh, have control of the situation and uh, be able to uh, apprehend people, be able to uh, enforce martial law or be able to uh, enslave you or whatever, you know, but they could do it from the comforts of their little uh, five by five cell or whatever it is. Uh, something along those lines uh, but that just about sums that up in in the perspective of why it worries me and how we're literally just a few years away from it and I would definitely if I were you be prepping and preparing for that uh, doing everything you can to be as old school as possible and to get completely unplugged from this grid get to, get out of the cities get out of the cities as fast as you can I think we're like an hour away from any any city in any direction. So uh, get as far away as you can. Now, I know uh, uh, I know uh, you know a lot of the stuff that had come out. Everyone thought, and some people still think it's going to be a thing, but it's not. It was it was crap canned a long time ago. It was uh, drones and delivery services, and how Amazon was going to deliver freaking packages by drone and stuff. All that stuff got canned uh, years ago. Like, I think uh, I think like five years ago they canned that idea only because uh, it would it would interfere with uh, flights and all kinds. Of, they would have all kinds of issues with it, and they just too hard to maintain. And they actually discovered that uh, there was other 
ways to get these about than than doing it that way. And this is kind of leaning into what this future is going to become. And it's it's going to be uh, a postal worker driving a vehicle, but it's not a postal worker. It's no, you know, there might be a robot dog in there that freaking throws packages out or something, you know, whatever. Uh, so you could get you could get some type of square vehicle that shows up and freaking, uh, uh, you know, make some beep boop beep boop freaking noise and freaking spits packages out on your front porch or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something like that. I got to add my sense of humor to this because I have no idea how that's going to turn out. But these are just, just food for thought. And that's pretty much, this is just stuff that I think about. And it goes back to all the things I think about. And if you like more of this things I think about, it's, um, uh, I've got a whole S SHTF series in a playlist that you can watch. It's a whole variety of them. And it just goes on and on about tinfoil hat type stuff. But anyways, but I hope you enjoyed it. Please share with your friends. God bless and take care.